Very good morning to you, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Our theme for this morning is the sacrifice of the cross, and the scripture reading is recorded in Matthew 27, 46, and John 19, verses 28 up to 29. And it reads as follows, Matthew 27, verse 46. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabatani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? John 19, 28 to 29, the death of Jesus. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now we should ponder and reflect this morning on the question the sacrifice of the cross, what it means to you this morning. What does it mean to me? Now, Habakkuk declared of God, Thine eyes are too pure to approve evil. Habakkuk 1 verse 13a God turned is back when Jesus was on the cross because he could not look upon sin, even or perhaps especially in his own son. Just as Jesus louded lamented, God the Father had indeed forsaken him. The Father forsook the Son because the Son took upon himself our transgressions, our iniquities, Isaiah 53, 5. Jesus was delivered up because of our transgressions. Romans 4, 25. And died for our sins according to the scripture. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3. He who knew no sin became sin on our behalf. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. And became a curse for us. Galatians 3, verse 13. He himself bore our sin in his body on the cross. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 Died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust. 1 Peter 3 verse 18 And became sinful on our behalf. 1 John 4 verse 10 Our beloved uh, teacher once asked her pupils the following question, what the sacrifice of the cross mean to them? That is what two of them said. It means that because of his death on the cross, we may have life in heaven with Jesus. I can go and know that in my heart Jesus has forgiven me and will never forsake me. He has made me whole. The second person said, What Jesus' sacrifice means to me is that he loves us and he wants us to be with him in heaven and on earth. The actions of the crucifixion allows us now to be with Jesus in heaven. What it also means to me is that God, Jesus, did not want us to have eternal death, but eternal life with him. What a beautiful statement by a great six child. God wants us to have eternal life instead of eternal death. So that is the sacrifice of the cross. 
is God is changing everything for us. When Jesus was forsaken by the Father, their separation was not one of a nature essence or substance. Christ did not, in any sense of disagree, cease to exist as God or as member of the Trinity. But the reason why Christ allowed the sacrifice so that we can have eternal life through him. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.